Join Kids Hat Family. Yay! We won. But why does Ron keep passing the ball to others? He's the best player on the team. He could make more goals if he just takes the ball all the way by himself. No tofu. To win, you always need a team. Every player is equally important on the team. Come, I will tell you a story about the importance of teamwork. Once upon a time, a girl called Dorothy lived in Kansas City. She was playing with her best friend, a dog named Toto, when a scary cyclone came their way. Dorothy called out to Toto. Toto, hurry! We have to get to the basement. But before they could reach the basement, the cyclone lifted their house up and blew it away. After some time, it fell somewhere with a thud. When Dorothy stepped out of the house, she saw the house had landed on someone. Oh no! Toto, help me! Who is she? The house has landed on her. I'm so sorry. Just then, Dorothy and Toto heard people behind them rejoicing. They were the munchkins. Thank you, thank you. You have just saved us from the evil witch of the east. You have saved us all. Just then, another witch appeared. She was the good witch. Hello, Dorothy. You have done a great deed by saving all the munchkins. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Could you please tell me how to go back to Kansas City? That's where I used to live. I can't do that. But I think the Wizard of Oz can help you with that. Just follow the yellow brick road. It will lead you straight to him. But before you go, take these red slippers that the evil witch of the east had. You might need them. Dorothy thanked the good witch, took the slippers and made her way on the yellow brick road with Toto. She had only walked a bit when she came across a scarecrow. Hello. I am the Scarecrow. I have everything I want except a brain. My head is only filled with hay. Hello Scarecrow. I am going to the Wizard of Oz. Why don't you come with me? He might be able to help you. And so Dorothy was joined by the Scarecrow. They had walked a few miles when they met the tin woodcutter. I want a heart. When my maker made me, he gave me everything but forgot to give me a heart. I wish he hadn't forgotten that. We are going to the Wizard of Oz. We are going to ask him for a way for Dorothy 
to get back to her home and for brains for me. Why don't you come with us? And so the tin woodcutter also joined them. They had walked for some time when they heard Toto barking. They turned around to see that a lion had attacked Toto. Get away from my dog, you nasty lion! The lion whimpered and ran away to a corner. Oh no! You aren't a brave lion at all, are you? No, I have no courage. I wish I had some. We are going to the Wizard of Oz. We will ask him for a brain for the Scarecrow, a way for Dorothy to get back home and a heart for me. Come with us. We will ask him for courage for you. The lion agreed and they all continued on the yellow brick road. They kept following the road and reached the Emerald City. They knocked on its big gates. A guard appeared. The wizard doesn't meet anyone but he has agreed to meet all of you. And so all the friends went to meet the wizard. They told him how and why they had come to meet him. Thank you Dorothy for freeing the lands from the evil witch of the east. But I will grant all your wishes when you free us from the evil witch of the west too. The friends agreed to the wizard's terms and left to find the evil witch of the west. But the evil witch of the west had heard about what had happened to the evil witch of the east. She also knew about Dorothy and her friends plan to kill her. She planned an attack on them. She sent a pack of her scariest wolves to stop them. The tin woodcutter stepped forward. This is a job for me. Everyone, stay back. The woodcutter hacked at the wolves with his axe till they all ran away. The wolves had just left when the skies became dark and many crows started coming down to peck at them all. This time the scarecrow stepped forward and scared all the crows away. Next, the evil witch sent flying monkeys. Before anyone could do anything, the monkeys grabbed them all and took them to the evil witch's castle. So, you've come to kill me, huh? How will you do that? The woodcutter is lying in a pile over the stones. I have emptied the scarecrow and strapped the cowardly lion to pull my cocks. Oh, you are so evil! What a horrible person you are! Saying so, Dorothy grabbed the bucket of water that was lying there and threw the water at the witch. 
Oh no! You threw water over me? I am going to shrink and melt! Help me! I'm melting! Oh my god! I'm melting! Help me! And so the evil witch of the west melted away. As that happened, all her slaves became free. They repaired the woodcutter, filled the scarecrow with hay and released the lion. Dorothy and her friends went back to the Emerald City. The Wizard of Oz welcomed them and granted the wishes of the Scarecrow, the Woodcutter and the Lion. What about my wish? How will I get back home? You don't need me for that. You had the power all along. Just click your heels together thrice and tell the slippers where you want to go. They will take you there. Though Dorothy was excited to go home, she was sad to leave her friends. She said a tearful goodbye to them. Then she picked up Toto in her arms and clicked her heels together three times and told her slippers to take her home. So you see Tofu? If all the friends hadn't worked together, they would have not been able to defeat the evil witch of the West. Hmm, yes Tia, I now understand the importance of a team. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.